Let's talk about weak bases. This is where this gets just a little bit annoying. The quintessential weak base. The weak base that is the example for all weak bases is ammonia. NH3. Ammonia. That's not to be confused with ammonium on your polyatomic table, NH4+. Plus. This is ammonia. It is a covalent compound. Now, in water, what ammonia will do in water, what ammonia will do is it will take, remember water is really HOH, it will take the H from the water and become ammonium, NH. Four plus ammonium plus O H minus. Oh look, I've made O H minus. That makes me a base. Just like N A O H and K O H and all those other bases, I've made O H minus. That's why ammonia is a weak base because it's something that makes OH minus. What was our definition of base? Base is something that reacts with H pluses. Well, OH minus is what reacts with H pluses. So weak bases always look, look like, quote unquote, look like ammonia. Okay, let me just show you the back of your book. This is a table of weak bases. Don't worry about these numbers here. You don't care about them. But let me just show you what they all look like. NH3, something with C's and H's attached to the N, taking the place of one of the H's. So C6H5, NH2. Another something with C's and H's, taking the place of these H's. CH32, NH. C2, H5, NH2. H2, N, NH2. H, O, NH2. CH3, NH2, C5H5, N, CH3, 3, N. Those are bases. That's what bases look like. If you see something with an N attached to C's and H's, and maybe some H's on this side, those are what weak bases look like. They look like ammonia with some other C's and H's attached, perhaps. But at N, tells you it's a weak base. Okay, so be careful of that pattern. Notice that pattern. Okay, so this is what happens to ammonia in water. What happens when I have ammonia plus a strong acid? So this is going to be weak base plus strong acid. So here's my weak base, NH3. Strong acid. Oh heck, let's pick the HCl. That's about as strong an acid as you're going to get. What am I going to get for products? The H goes here, attaches to the NH3 and makes ammonium, but that's going to be a plus and it's going to leave behind a minus, so I'm going to get NH4Cl. I'm going to get this plus thing attracted to this negative thing. In terms of a net ionic, though, this Cl minus is going to end up being my spectator. I'm going to have NH3 plus H plus plus Cl minus, because strong things completely dissociate, gives me NH4 plus plus Cl minus, because ionic things completely dissociate. Cl minus ends up being my spectator ion and my net ionic equation is the weak base plus H plus giving me the weak base with an H added to it and a plus charge. No matter what weak base I can come up with here, this is what happens. It's that weak base 
plus an H plus. I hook the H plus onto the N and give it a plus charge. That's my generic for a weak base plus a strong acid. If I pick any of these guys, it's still the same thing. Let me just show you. Let's say I pick this dimethylamine, CH32NH. My net ionic would be CH32NH plus H plus goes to don't worry about these H's, that's not the H's you care about. See that base I just had? I copied it over over here. I add an H to it and a plus charge. Same kind of net ionic thing. Weak base, acid H, what they call the conjugate of the weak base. The weak base with the H added. And it's positive. Always. So that's the pattern. You may notice chemistry is all about patterns. That's the pattern. By the way, let me throw a vocabulary word at you, which is electrolyte. This is identified for you on page 126 of your book. Electrolyte, E-L-E-C-T-R-O-L-Y-T-E, -E -E, electrolyte. An electrolyte is something that dissolves in water, and when it does, it's charged and conducts electricity. Hence, electrolyte. So anything that dissociates in water into ions is an electrolyte. So they have this little table here. That's what I wanted to point out to you on table 4.3 on page 126. Anything ionic is, called, is a strong electrolyte because it completely dissociates in water. Anything ionic completely dissociates when it's dissolved. It's a strong electrolyte. Anything molecular, the only electrolytes are acids and bases. So if it's a strong electrolyte, it's strong acid or a strong base. So in fact, a strong base is an ionic thing. If it's a weak acid or a weak base, that's a weak electrolyte. It only dissociates a very little in solution. Hence why in the net ionic equation we don't write it broken up. Anything else, any other molecular thing is a non-electrolyte because it doesn't dissolve in water. Or if it does, it doesn't give you ions, so it does not conduct electricity through the solution. That's your introduction to acids and bases.